we get to see each other for, on Tuesday for a whole week and I'm really excited about that. It's gonna be a great week. We're gonna do a lot of work. The thing that I'm most excited about is to learn about the Aboriginal cultures and traditions that they have. It's gonna be a great week. We're gonna meet lots of people and make a difference. So I'll talk to you guys soon and see you soon. This morning, me and Dr. Dutois went to the CBC radio station to give an interview about our upcoming ASB Walpole trip during the reading week. So I'm very excited to continue on with this trip um, and to get to know everyone and to learn so much more about Walpole Island First Nation um, and Indigenous peoples. And it's going to be a really great learning experience for each of us. I can't wait to pack my bag and get on the bus and drive away to Walpole and have an amazing experience. The Alternative Spring Break is an exciting new program that we're offering at the University of Windsor. <laughs> okay, hello ASB, here we are. Everyone's getting ready to go. Look how much luggage we brought. <laughs> so much luggage. Yeah! <laughs> so it's um, Tuesday morning, about uh, 20 after 10. We're about halfway to Bukesjanong on our ASB trip to Walpole Island. Welcome to Bekejuanong. We're just heading on to Walpool, uh, known as Bekejuanong and Anishinaabe. What it means is where the waters divide, right here. This is the bridge. I'm at Walpoo Island at with the ASV and look behind me, I have artifacts. It's amazing here. They've welcomed us completely. Uh, we're learning a lot about the Aboriginal and the First Nations heritage and traditions. We're really glad to be here. My name is Shannon Armstrong. The second part of the orientation, we had Paul come and um, share some oral tradition knowledge about some really important aspects of being a First Nations person. My journey as a Anishinaabe person is a long one and is continuing still. Taking part in this project is fulfilling maybe some academic, maybe some community goals that I've always placed, but also personally is helping bridge and make connections with community. ASB gives students the opportunity to give back. They volunteer to give up their reading week and spend that time as part of a team performing an act of service for a local community partner. This year, a team of 11 students from the University of Windsor traveled to the Walpole Island First Nation, along with faculty and staff leaders from the Aboriginal Education Center and from across the campus. This journey was a physical journey of perhaps two and a half hours, but it was a much longer journey of discovery for the students who participated. We were given the exciting opportunity to work with the staff of the Heritage Center at the Walpole Island First Nation. Our task was to sort, catalog, and archive a significant and important collection of First Nations artifacts. These artifacts had been stored in the Heritage Center for years, and it was time to put them in proper order. For our students, this was an exciting opportunity for them to get to know more about life on Walpole Island to challenge them to be aware of their own privilege and for everybody to share in a process of relationship building which we hope will sustain this project for many years to come. As we have six empty wooden crates, we have 10 of these wooden shells if they want us to use that space or not. And then we have these three wooden bookshelves. Hey guys, I'm Lucia. I'm Jessica. So today we drove to Walpole Island. Hey everyone, it's Katie. I'm here at the Walpole Island Heritage Center. It was uh, really amazing how much we got done. There was this massive room upstairs that was completely full of different documents and books and also artifacts and we're in the process of sorting it out. Uh, today I found the workshop quite uh, thought provoking. It was a lot of uh, new learning and um, 
lot of things that I hadn't ever given a thought to before. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Day two. Here we are, trying to decide what we're going to do today. What's the game plan? <laughs> fishing rights here. There's some like long-standing fights that they've been doing for decades. Um, some of the stuff is from the 70s and the 80s. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Woo! We just went outside in the rain. How was it? Uh, beautiful. So what do you have there? Tooth. I don't know what type of tooth it is. What is it? So we're stopping for lunch. But we just wanted to show you uh, what we've done so far. Okay, so we divided it into sections and we will continue after lunch. There's a lot downstairs. It's gonna like Still. see. But we've managed to pretty much almost empty that back room. We are right now organizing um, the different stones on the sheets to take pictures for artifacts collection. Categorizing them on the shelf. There's still some stuff in the back back room that has to come out. Um, so that's up to all these to categorize. Yeah, yeah so, so the boxes and the rest of the shelvings, those all need to be categorized. This section is where we categorize lots of the documentation. Um, there's different categories we have for environmental, um, lots of con uh, conservation reports and things like that. So this is the end of day two. Hello. How are we feeling? Tired. Dusty. Hi guys, it's Amita and Sam. So we just finished day two of our trip today and um, today we were involved in archiving some rocks as well as some paintings. I, feel, I thought the experience was great. It was a lot of fun. And we're very excited to continue on doing this process tomorrow. I that I'm supposed to have open. Oh. I can't close this out. Such as photos like that one with old baskets. 
I don't know how old these pictures are of what pool, but like we have an invasive species problem in the Great Plains, and you can see the difference already just in these pictures. Uh, we just found a World War II honor roll quilt blanket made by the Waco Island Elementary School grades three to eight right there. Presented to Heritage Center November 1990. Wow. As we're going through all of the files and everything that's coming out of the storage bins um i kind of got like this feeling of just like um kind of like frustration versus like sadness sort of thing and um just recognizing that um a lot of first nations communities their uh funding is all program based a lot of the work that they get for the people that are on the reserve are temporary project related jobs so they just have enough funding to come in do the work do the presentation maybe and then everything of theirs gets thrown into a box and then into a storage area which i find is kind of wasteful our work so far organized Playing a bit of storage wars here. Emptied, this was full before. Emptied it right out. Lots of artifacts and files to document. Hey guys, it's Amita. I'm Lucia. We just uh, got a lot of things organized and the room's looking much, much more clear. Yes and it's very different from what it was two days ago. Yeah, and this is our beautiful scenery here. See? Thanks, Boo. Obviously, so much. Uh, I've learned so much in that regard. I've also learned some cool words like buju uh, and miigwech. <laughs> Doing a thank you note for the Heritage Center for having us this week. Heading back to Windsor. 
we're a tired bunch. Now that ASB is over, I already miss you guys and I already miss the island in Walpole um, and how nice it was there. Everyone um, was so kind to us. All the locals were very um, informative and very helpful. It was such an amazing opportunity. The uh, Heritage Center looked so good when we left. I'm so glad we got through not only organizing what was inside the Heritage Center, but two of the three storage bins is amazing. So it's been a few days since we came back from ASP Walpole, and I can honestly say this past week has been one of the most amazing and educating of my life. I am super, super grateful to have gained a better understanding and appreciation of Anishinaabe culture throughout the duration of this trip by going, by just going around Walpole, being, being around being around the people and going to ceremony. Miigwech to the people at Walpole. I, I think it was tremendous. I think we did great work with uh, the team of people sorting out the archived, or I'm sorry, the artifacts and all the documents and hopefully we've set them off on the right foot to continue. This, I would definitely recommend students to participate in something like this. ASB was a once in a lifetime experience. I had so much fun learning about the Anishinaabe culture and working with my team members to help reorganize the Heritage Center. I want to thank you ASB and I want to thank you Walpole Island for letting me learn a lot about the Anishinaabe culture and uh, building new relationships with the wonderful um, people. I had a lot of fun. It was my first time doing a service learning opportunity, something like this, something like ASB, and it was a great experience. So we got back from Walpole a couple days ago and I'm glad I got the chance to share this experience with all the great people that I met. Um, I had a great time. I would do it all again if I got the chance, and I hope to one day do something similar to this. Um, my favorite part had to be archery, but I can't, I loved every part of the trip, like archiving all of the artifacts. I learned so much about the culture, so much about the people there. Um, it was great. <laughs>